Greetings. Hi there. I'd like to talk about anger for a second. You know, people uh, use anger totally inappropriately. Uh, anger is a signal device. It is not supposed to be a communication device. It's a signal device in the sense that, you know, when uh, you feel attacked or threatened, you get angry and the anger tells you, I got to do something. Uh, I feel threatened. I feel maybe I'm at risk. I'm going to get hurt. If I keep uh, allowing this situation to happen, something bad's going to happen. So the anger kicks in the idea of fight or flight. Either fight and stop the threat, stop the attack, or take off and uh, and get out of harm's way. Okay, but uh, so anger is a signal device to get you to do something. But people uh, in relationships, we use anger as uh, as a communication device. We use it to you know to attack people with our words and our feelings. So uh, if uh, we get into a disagreement with a partner uh, over something and suddenly we the anger uh, in, for, in the form of yelling and blaming, attacking, assaulting, emotionally abusing, uh, all this emotional aggression. Uh, that, that's, I, I guess you could say that that's us uh, using the same concept. We feel we've been injured in the relationship in some way or demeaned or, or, or minimized or diminished. And so uh, we, we go back to the idea of fight or flight. So the fight part of the anger, we, we use the anger to fight and to attack and to blame and to assault emotionally. Uh, and, uh, you know, uh, that's not the way to go. The way to go is uh, when you have the, the sense that you've been diminished, To uh, the fight should be uh, fight for your boundaries, fight uh, for uh, honest communication, fight for truth. Fight for consideration and cooperation in the relationship. But fight uh, not with anger, not with aggression, not with uh, yelling and loudness. Uh, fight with uh, your heart. Fight with calmness. F fight with calm, effective communication so that you can actually communicate, compromise, reconcile, and work through the issues that are plaguing the, rela the relationship. Or flight. You can use flight in this case. But the flight should be disengage. Uh, disengage if you're in battle, if you're arguing and fighting and no one's really listening to each other and, and you're just interrupting each other, you're, you're not actually communicating, you're not accomplishing anything, you're just attacking each other, then disengage. Disengage, uh, go to your separate corners, calm down, relax, uh, avoid each other for a while with the commitment to come back together at another time when both parties are calmer uh, and have had a chance to think about it. And hopefully you can then go to plan A, which was the uh, effective communication uh, to uh, reach a common ground for the greatest good of all concerns, concerned so that all parties' needs can be met. So don't use anger to attack people in your relationships. Use uh, your anger to uh, find a way to effectively, calmly communicate your needs and your concerns. Or use your anger to disengage to another time when you're not angry and you can effectively communicate your concerns. Okay, that's it for today. Thanks. Take care. Peace be with you.